Well, it is officially summer as of yesterday, so it is time to get grilling. You can do more, though, than just burgers, steak, hot dogs, or chicken on the grill. Salmon is pretty easy to grill, and here to show us how to do it, Chef Sean Sanders from the Ocean Air. Thanks for coming in this morning. Oh, thanks for having me. Thanks for getting fishy with us. Oh, Appreciate of course. it. All right, now, what do we have here? We have some beautiful, wild Alaskan Copper River sockeye salmon. Okay, and you were just telling, you were giving Jackie Jarris the rundown a few minutes ago about the good salmon to get right now versus later in the summer. Well, these are what we call river run salmon, so okay. they have a real short um, season. The reason is is because they're migrating right now from the base of the river up to their spawning points. Okay. And so they gorge on a lot of fish and crustacean and stuff to get enough energy to make that whole travel. So they really get nice and fatty for the trip. All right. Which is why you can see like king salmon year round, but you really only want to get it during that, that season when it's migrating. Okay. Catch them right at the mouth. So now Good is the go. time for sockeye. Now is the time for sockeye. And then what is it later on in the summer? You know, we'll, we'll transition into coho and kata salmon okay. a little bit later. Uh, you'll see some kings here and there. Those are the big boys, but those okay. are really sought after. Yeah. They're a little and bit tougher to get. this is so red. I mean, it is so pink. You know, sockeye has its own sort of uh, uh, uniqueness to it. It has a, a flavor that's very, uh, it's different from any other salmon. Mm -hmm. It's going to be nice and lean, but it's going to be Beautifully flavorful. Really flavorful. Okay, yes. and so what have you got to uh, cook we with? We are going to do a nice little pickled golden watermelon. Okay. So we're going to so take here some. Here we go. We're gonna, watermelon. We're going to go ahead and start with some. Uh, it's very popular this time of year. Is I this guess. already pickled? No, it is no, not. This not. is fresh. Okay. And you really want to do just a quick good. pickle on this. So we have a mixture of some lime juice and some rice wine vinegar. Okay. And we're just going to pour that right over the watermelon. And you were saying to use the golden watermelon because it holds up better. It does. It's okay. a little less sweet. You know, okay. it's going to be a little firmer. But, you know, if you want to mix it up, do both of them. Have Make fun with really it. Really bright. But, yeah. Okay. And so we got lemon juice. We have a little bit of uh, sugar okay. and some salt. Okay. And just a little bit of red chili flake. Give it a nice little pop. A little kick. And some cilantro. Okay. And then you're going to want to leave that in your refrigerator for about half an hour. But since okay. uh, through the magic of television, we're going to get an instant. Look at that. It's already pickled. Boom. There we go. <laughs> I like so how you work. <laughs> while that is pickling, we are going to nice sear this salmon off. And so what oil are you putting it in? You know, this is a blended oil. It's about 80% uh, um, vegetable and 20% olive. Okay. So you're going to have a little bit of a higher um, smoke point on that because okay. you don't want the olive oil to smoke too much. It's going to get a burnt flavor on it. But you want this pan pretty hot. Yes, you do. And okay. we had a nice liberal seasoning on both sides. You know, don't be afraid of the salt. So right. we're just going to let that get a nice little sear. And you know, one of the nice things about great salmon, great fresh salmon, mm -hmm. is you can eat the stuff raw. So, you know, if you like a little rare, mid rare, if okay. you, you want to cook it a little bit more, you know, it'll hold up fine to that as well. So. Is it common? I mean, how many people are coming into the ocean air uh, ordering their salmon cooked that way? You know, most people want it pretty opaque. Uh, it sort of depends. Okay. You know, we'll get a pretty hefty mix of both. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. So while we're just letting it that go. so good. Oh, yeah. It's very nice. So. Uh, for folks that may want to throw this on the grill. Sure thing. What's your advice? And you to know, keep your, your fish from sticking on there. You know, you want to get a nice oil grill. Nice you know, we call it cured, but mm -hmm. oil on the grill for it, and then just let it go in a nice hot spot and leave it alone. You really don't want to try to scrape it off the grill because right. that's going to get, <laughs> that's yeah. That's when the flakes happen. <laughs> exactly. So you just let it go until it sort of coagulates on its own and, you know. All right, so giving her a little flip. Yes, we are. Just giving a nice little flip on there. And so when it comes time to, to plate this and to dig into it, you're just putting it on there and then throwing the... Putting it on the plate. We're going to put some of that, you know, pickled watermelon right on there. And, uh, you know, I think we're about good. I, yeah. I like salmon rare. You good okay. to eat some salmon yeah. rare? Yeah, that's really right, good. So that's got such gonna... a great color to it. Oh, it's awesome. So we're going to throw that on there. Then we're just going to take a little bit of this beautiful pickled watermelon, throw that right on top. Very nice. Maybe that a is a bit of perfect that summer dish. Oh, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> awesome. Nice. Very pretty. All right. You guys seeing that? Look at that. Yes. Ooh. Wild, go. natural, sustainable. And healthy. And, and that's healthy. a really healthy summer dish. Oh, absolutely. All right. Chef Sean Sanders, thanks so much for coming thanks in. Thanks for having I appreciate me. Absolutely. It. Have a great summer. You too. <laughs>